So what can fans expect to see from the rivalry between Nick and Sean in the coming season? Well, in a very early episode, something you will not believe happens between them. Yeah. And how Nick has to um, deal with the captain in a very unusual way. And Renard is totally out to, to get and end Nick once and for all. And how will Nick and his grim friends survive that is a big question in the first yeah. few episodes. It's a really great way we answer it. I think um, fans could uh, enjoy, uh, and this is something I enjoy too, uh, more of a focus on the central characters and their dynamics and um, all the uh, conflict that they will have. And uh, it, it really is truly like focused on us and our inner conflicts. And I was actually going to say exactly that, that I think one of the things that's happening now is after five seasons, we're getting a little bit away from the creature of the week vibe and getting more into the overarching storyline of sort of good versus evil. And that does involve all of us. I mean, there will be new Vessen because that's in the DNA of the show, like to have a new creature. Mm -hmm. But I do think that given the fact that HW and, the, and Black Claw have kind of decimated e themselves, that now it's going to be the good versus evil manifesting through the characters, and it will be very focused white on shirt, us. White shirt, black white, shirt. Hey, now, who knew? Mm -hmm. So next season, actually, so we, we only have three episodes, but um, you will see a lot more of Adeline's knowledge in general. So all of her, you know, witchcraft, uh, hex and beast witchery, will be on full display. So just her you know, knowledge of spells, it'll come in handy with with the gang. It's going to be quite a storyline uh, unveiling itself when Eve is starting to remember some of the things that used to happen in her private personal life, in her past life. And so she'll probably, Nick and Eve will have a real sit down chat and kind of figure some things out. I just feel really lucky because, you know, I've been on the same show for what's now going into its sixth season and I've, I've really played three different characters on it, which is like a dream for an actor. Um, but uh, it was challenging. It was actually the most challenging of, of the three roles. If it's like good Juliet, evil Juliet, and Eve, because she was so robotic and calculated, I'm not like that. I talk with my hands and I'm very expressive and emotional. So it was, it was really hard for me as an actor to really rein it in that much and, and, and try to be emotionless. Um, but it was cool. I, I really love the character. I love the wardrobe, just in like skin tight leather and all the wigs are really fun. When you listen to the scripts, even with the involvement